famous study from Harvard or Yale, depends on where you read about this, where they, it was like the class of 1953 and they had half of their alumni write down their goals, you know, for the future. And then half their alumni just didn't write down their goals. And then they tracked them like 20 years later. And supposedly the alumni who wrote down their goals were far more successful than the alumni who did not write down their goals. So that's the research that uh, has been cited by, I think, Zig Ziglar or, or other uh, motivational speakers. And so when I looked into this, I'm like, oh, that's, that's fascinating. I, I did some research on this, could not find it uh, anywhere online. There are articles that talk about that study, but not from Harvard or Yale or any other Ivy League school. And some further research um, turns out that that is probably an urban myth, that there was no such study. So instead, there was somebody from Dominican University, a researcher, who did this kind of study and did discover that when you write down your goals, based on her research, you tend, you know, the, the group that wrote down their goals accomplished 42% more of their goals than the group who just simply thought about it. And the group that uh, and then there was another group that she studied that accomplished 77% more than the group that merely thought about their goals. Now, most of us don't even think about their goals to the extent that the study, you know, the study said, well, think about your goals, think about how hard it is to achieve them, rank them, all that stuff. Most of us don't even think about their goals. And most of us just, most of us maybe have dreams about our goals. And then we might have a to-do list, but we don't really connect the goals to the to-do list very well, and we don't use accountability. So let me let me share with you um, basically what the research was, okay? So she had five groups of people. One group simply thought about their goals and evaluated their goals just without writing them down. A second group wrote down their goals, okay? A third group wrote down their goals and the action commitments. What are those action commitments? Meaning, okay, I would like to write a book. Okay, maybe that's a goal. And then the action commitments be, I commit to writing, you know, two pages a day for, for the next four weeks. And that, to be specific, they were talking about goals for the next four weeks. So that was the study. So, so this, this group, this third group, again, wrote down their goals and their action commitments. The fourth group wrote down their goals and their action commitments and sent them to a friend. So... Hi, Mary, here are my goals and action commitments for the next four weeks. That's it, that's the fourth group. And then the fifth group, not only did they do all of that, but they also reported back to their friend once a week. Hey, Mary, this is how it went with my action commitments for the prior week, and this is what I'm gonna be doing for the upcoming week. So that's what the fifth group did. And the fifth group who wrote down their goals, their action commitments leading to the goals, uh, and reported back weekly to their friend or accountability partner achieved 77% more than the group, the initial group that only thought about their goals and evaluated them. So probably they would have achieved even more compared to most of us who simply dream about our goals or, or don't even have goals, okay? So the research, uh, this is the only research study that I could find about, about the power of written goals and accountability. And so I want to encourage you to use this research to get more done, uh, you know, to make more progress on your dreams. So again, the, the research is clear. What you've got to do is you've got to write down your goals. And I did some further reading about the, the power of written goals is that the more specific you can be about the goal, the more in detail you can, you can uh, describe the, uh, the results of the goal, the better. So doing some journaling about what goal is important to you is very helpful, okay? So write down your goals, step one. Step two is write down the actions that you'll need to take and that you commit to taking in order to achieve that goal. It's not enough just to say, I wanna write a book or, I want to create an online course. Well, what exactly are you going to do to allow that to happen? 
Okay, so what are the actions you're committed to taking? So that's the second step. The third step is to send these to a friend who's gonna be doing this with you. Again, do it for four weeks and keep doing it for another four weeks if you, if you find it beneficial, but do it for four weeks and have a friend do this with you, send this video to a friend. Or if you have a life coach or a business coach, or you can hire one, do this with them. Okay, four weeks at a time, but you check in with that friend or coach once a week. And when you check in with that friend or coach, your accountability partner, basically, um, let them know how you did with your action commitments for the previous week, okay? And if you didn't get it done, if you didn't accomplish what you said you would, what can you change? What can you change about your behavior or your routine so that you're more likely to do your action commitments for the following week? Because if you just keep doing the same routine and you keep not getting things done, something, something's got to change. Whether you got to make more realistic action commitments or whether you have to schedule more time for you to take those actions, usually it's about scheduling more time. Or when it comes to the time to, 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 to do those things, maybe you have to close the door and, and find more focus routine, a more focused routine. Maybe you need to use focusmate.com or join my free virtual co-working group. So whatever it is, what do you need to modify if you need to, to get to, to be more effective at making those action commitments effective the following week? So that's what, report to your partner each week. Did you get it done past week? If not, what can you modify for the coming week? And uh, what specifically are you gonna do in this coming week? So just report those three things to your partner once a week. You can do this through email or through text messaging or Facebook messaging or whatever you need to, to just, you know, or, or do a 15 minute call with your partner. And then watch your achievements soar in the coming weeks. It's quite simple, but most of us don't do this. So I'm, I'm gonna really encourage you to try this for the next four weeks and let me know how it goes for you. I really look forward to hearing. Okay, so at this point, I would love for you to comment below and let me know what you think about this video. And while, while I'm waiting for you to comment, I'm gonna go ahead and take a look to see if there are any comments from my Facebook Live video attendees. Um, in case you didn't know, I do, I do these videos every Tuesday and Friday at 12.30 p.m. Pacific, which is 3.30 p.m. Eastern. And I think that's like 8.30 p.m. London time. So. For those who want to join me live, uh, I encourage you to, to show up at those times. And let me see if there's a comment. And there is a comment now from Captain. And thank you so much, Captain, for your comment. And Captain says, I think um, writing down the action step is a very huge factor. And I totally agree. Most of us don't have the instinct to write down the specific action steps to our goals. Most of us don't don't grow up with that kind of training. And if you do, if you do this, you'll find that it tends to make quite a difference. So I hope this is helpful and I look forward to hearing how it goes for you. All right. Take care.